everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to take you along with me as I shop for both farmhouse and Scandinavian decor styles. Welcome to another video in my mini series called Shop Your Style With Me where I'm taking you along with me as I shop for eight different styles of home decor. So if you haven't seen my video on how to find your home decor style or your mix of home decor styles, make sure to check it out in the description box below or somewhere up here. And then once you've figured out your style, you can come along and shop with me. So I'm so excited to be partnering with The Brick. They are a Canadian home decor, furniture, mattress, and appliance store. This week I am shopping for both farmhouse and Scandinavian home decor styles. So before we go shopping, here are some characteristics to look for when you're shopping for both the farmhouse and Scandinavian home decor styles. For farmhouse, you wanna look for neutral colors like white, off-white, black, and gray. You want to look for reclaimed woods. You want to look for mixed metals. Look for industrial accents. And look for patterns like oversized plaids and stripes. For the Scandi home decor style, you want to look for natural warm colors like white, gray, and off-white. You can also look for accents with pops of bright color. Look for botanical and animal-inspired prints smooth lines, natural woods, nature-inspired accents, and look for huga or cozy accents. Now, come along with me as I shop for both farmhouse and Scandi styles. Let's go. Okay, so let's shop for some farmhouse looking furniture and accessories first. I love this settee right here. So it's farmhouse because it is neutral, it has sort of a linen look fabric, plus it has some traditional details that you'll find often in farmhouse decor, plus it has these weathered looking legs. This one is called the Lottie and I love it. Super cute. Definitely farmhouse. I'm also loving some of the accessories over here that have a definite farmhouse look to them. We have this antique looking crate with these little lit bottles. I actually have some of these in pink and I love them. So this rustic wood like this, anything that looks antique definitely belongs in a farmhouse home as well as anything that looks a little bit industrial. I'm going to share a little bit more about uh, industrial style later, more of a modern industrial style, but you can add industrial accents like this to farmhouse decor. And this lamp here is really neat too. This is called the Bryson floor lamp and it's also industrial, but it would look great in a modern in a modern farmhouse home. So for sofas and chairs for a farmhouse, I really like something like this. So it's very simple. It has very simple lines, which you'll see lots in farmhouse. It has a linen look fabric, which is also common in modern farmhouse. And it is it has rolled arms, which is also another great feature to look for when you're decorating your farmhouse. And I love these striped pillows that come with it. So things like stripes, things like oversized buffalo checks and plaids, those are all really common in farmhouse decor. Also loving this little side table. This is the Navan side table. So you can see it kind of has this whitewashed wood look, which is a great farmhouse look as well. And it has almost like a chicken wire detail there, which is also a little nod to farmhouse. Lamp is really cute too. This is a long neck table lamp and it has that rustic wood look too, which is definitely popular in farmhouse decor. And this set, which is uh, the love seat and the couch, is called the Tula. And I think those are really, really great for a farmhouse or country style home. Here are some accent cabinets that I really love and I think would look really great in a farmhouse home. So you can see there's a black one on top. It has that distressed look. And then there's a white version and a gray version down there. Here's the art here at the brick. I saw this earlier and I just loved it. It's like a little sliding barn door chalkboard. So cute and definitely farmhouse because we have the weathered wood, we have the metal accents, and that would be really, really cute uh, in a kitchen or somewhere uh, or even a kid's room. Anything galvanized metal is very popular in farmhouse style and I really adore this tray. You could use it for so many different things. I used, uh, I think it was this one from the brick one time as a hot chocolate station at Christmas time. You could use it to sort out crafts. Uh, it would make a really cute centerpiece with florals. Definitely a farmhouse looking accessory. So at the rug section here at the brick, for farmhouse you can keep it pretty neutral and just stick with something classic like a nice uh, off-white shag like this. Oh, this is soft. This is the alpaca area rug. That one's really nice. Or you can go with something like a stripe, like this one. So we have neutral with a little bit of that denim blue, which I think looks really nice in a farmhouse look. So either a stripe or just a plain rug like that, I think would work really well in farmhouse decor. 
for lighting in a farmhouse styled room. I really like something like this. I actually have that table lamp, uh, but it's traditional looking, but it has that whitewashed look and there's a little bit of, you know, like that faux wear on the base of that. I think that's a really nice look for farmhouse. White, simple, and just a little bit of that almost antique look. So over here we have a few more really nice farmhouse looking accessories. So I really like this guy, almost looks like an old milk jug. It looks antique, could be perfect in a farmhouse. There's a little mirror back there with sort of some uh, rustic details as well. And I'm also liking this jug here that almost looks like antique pottery. I think something like that would look really nice in the mix of a farmhouse home. Okay, now we're going to shop for some Scandi styled furniture and accents. So that's Scandinavian style and I listed some of the characteristics to look for at the beginning of this video. So let's go find some furniture and accessories that are really Scandi and Huga styled. So I think a sectional like this would be perfect in a Scandi styled home. So when you're looking for Scandi styled things, we're looking for really clean modern lines and also neutral colors as a base. I love the little wood legs on this sectional. I love the really clean lines. It, uh, it doesn't have arms here, but it has a really nice thin arm there, so quite modern and sleek looking. This one is called the Gina sectional, and I love it. It looks cozy, but it still looks streamlined and modern. Another piece that I think looks really scandy is this chair. I actually had this chair in my studio. So it has that mid-century modern look, and it has the gray linen furniture, which is definitely scandy style. Here's another piece that I love. It also has a mid-century modern look, but really, really rich, rich wood tones, which is definitely a Scandinavian look. So fluffy textiles that have a huga or a cozy look to them are uh, seem to be really popular in Scandinavian style. So uh, sheepskin pillows like that are definitely very Scandi and also just cozy textures and patterns like something like this. I think a pillow like this would work in a more Scandi styled room. I also over here saw some really great accessories that I think would work in a Scandi home. This sectional here I think would also look good. This is the Zeke. I had talked about that earlier in my modern shop with me last week. Uh, this version is a little bit more scandy because it's not that smooth leather look fa fabric. It's more of this kind of textured linen look. So a little bit more natural looking than the other one. But over here, I think these are so Scandi inspired. So they look like little birch logs, but they're actually vases or candle holders. So anything that brings nature in is very Scandinavian, I think. So when I think of Scandi style, I definitely think of tons of candles, candles everywhere. So something like these ones here, you can find these in store at the brick. They're just sort of like a gray textured candle as well. I love something like this, like these flameless candles. They're just nice and safe. You can really use them anywhere. Uh, I also am really loving these textured baskets, which I think would also look good in Scandi decor. They look natural and they would just add so much nice texture to your decor. So here's the rug section again, and as for a Scandi rug, definitely coziness and comfort is one of the main things you want to look for. So you could go for something like this really beautiful shag here. I love this one. This is the alpaca beige area rug. Or you could go for something like this one, which I think is really Scandi inspired. So it has this trellis pattern. It also has a fringe on the bottom. I have this one. It's called the Amar area rug, and I think it's really versatile. There was a piece over here that I saw earlier that I thought was so Scandi, I just loved it. It is this bar cart. It's the Bluff Heights bar cart. And look at the top of this. So cool. It almost looks like a quilt. Has that geometric, just really homey kind of Scandi looking pattern. I just love that. And it has simple lines. They're kind of half modern, half rustic. That would be perfect for a Scandinavian inspired room. I'm also loving a table like this for Scandi style. It has the modern legs, but then we have the little hints of nature and rustic in this beautiful distressed wood. I actually love this whole set. This is the Bluff Heights set here, just gorgeous. And look at this rocker. It's so pretty. This is the Zeneca rocker, and I think that would be beautiful in a Scandi styled room. Oh, here's that bar cart with the beautiful pattern on top, and this is in a natural wood, which is also a really beautiful version. This guy here is kind of neat. So we have the idea of bringing nature in, which I think is very Scandinavian, but we have this white tin uh, pot here and more like a sculptural plant, a sculptural succulent, which I think would look really nice in a Scandinavian styled space as well. 
Here's a great piece that is very Scandinavian. It is an antler, but I love this one because it has a bronze cast to it. So it's Scandi, but it has a little bit of a modern flair with that copper, that bronze look. For textiles and Scandi decor, you can stick to like a geometric like this in a neutral, or even go for something with a little bit of a pop of color like this, or even something that is nature inspired like that, that's a little bit more bold, I think would look really nice in a Scandi room. Okay, so those are some examples of furniture and decor and accessories that you could find for your own farmhouse or Scandi home if those are your style. I hope you enjoyed that and found that useful and helpful if you are going to shop for your style. Let me know in the comments below if you are either one of those styles, farmhouse or Scandi. Remember, you can be a mix of styles. Check out my video about that. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below as well as all the products that I found today if you can find them on the Brick website online. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much to the Brick for sponsoring this video and letting me shop here today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decor ideas. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!